Alrighty, I'm gonna do a second take on a video because I don't believe the first one turned out right. Alright. Thank you, everybody that's been watching my videos. I've monetized them and I made my first four cents. Some people say four cents. Yeah, four cents. Every penny counts. A penny saved is a penny earned. I thank you all for helping me out. I'm going to try to put that toward getting me back out. I should say get myself out to my wife who is in North Dakota. And she got herself a job out there. We heard about the jobs out in North Dakota from listening to Sean Hannity on the radio. He was talking about the oil fields out there, but the other jobs have been affected as well. They're hiring and paying better. Two, if Sarah Palin should want to run for president in the year 2016, she has my full endorsement as a working janitor. That's one of those lower class people that everybody decides to not talk about that's below the middle class, just above poverty or in the poverty line. Three. I'm going to put it this way. With the Democratic Party booing God at their convention, and the Vice President reportedly saying that Bible-believing Christians are a threat, and that the President is telling Christians to change their beliefs, and so is Hillary Clinton telling people that Christianity is going to have to accept things that have for centuries been a known fact that God does not want us changing. We are, as a nation, becoming like Sodom and Gomorrah. We are endangering our own nation. There's a fellow on Facebook and Google that I'd like to have you really follow, and that's Mr. Wild Bill. He has a page, he has many political comments and religious comments. You might recognize him. Some of you might already be following him. But he wears a cowboy hat. Do, does his uh, videos. Personally, I don't know the man. But I pray for him daily. God bless you, Bill. And America, wake up. Our rights are being tread on by not a foreign power, but by an over-bloated government. It believes it runs the people instead of the people in charge of the government. They want to rewrite our Bill of Rights or to destroy them completely. And they also want to shred the Constitution 
and they want to make the Declaration of Independence something that no longer exists, that we are dependent on the government for food, medical, our homes, our livelihood, what we do, what we say, what we believe. The government wants to control every step of our lives from childhood to death. In fact, some children don't even have the choice of life or death. They are executed before they're born into this world, but yet they are alive, they have a heartbeat, they are breathing through their mother's health, through her bloodstream oxygen, oxygen supply. They are alive. They are not some inanimate object. They are a blessing from God. I know some people will say, well, what if that child is a product of rape? Well, there's something that's been called adoption that's been around for a long, long time. And in today's society, we have more unwed mothers struggling to make it. What if that mother had the opportunity to have, hmm, put that child up for adoption, finish her education, and do something so that when she does have the opportunity to have a family. I know a couple of ladies who have had the opportunity and they've done well. I've known some with their children who have had opportunities and done well. You don't have to murder a child to have a life. We have families for a reason. Grab a cup of coffee and enjoy your family while you can. Today's my eldest daughter's birthday. I'm going to get on the phone and wish her a happy birthday. You don't have a good day now. Bye-bye.